Hey guys, come on with me today. We're going to walk through this house as I write up a bid to make up the repairs the investor wants to make. Then later, I'm going to show you how I wrote the estimate up along with the prices. Hey there guys. I'm going to bring you along on another uh, bid. Basically to... Uh, he's flipping this house. His tenant moved out. He wants, he wants to sell this one, so he's getting ready, wants it all done. So first off, you got to remember, he wants every room painted. Uh, wants stuff like, get a new globe for that. Wants all outlets, damaged ones replaced, or the ones that are not white. So it's like this uh, bone one over here, I have to be replaced. Wants all registers cleaned or painted. Um, or clean and painted them if, if they're not uh, savable he wants new ones um, honestly by the time I clean these and paint these he'll be money ahead by just new ones so uh, all things you got to remember when you paint a room you got to do the baseboards um, once these <laughs> now, I'm hoping he's just talking about this room hand sanded the paint off and uh, restained so this is about a, oh, I think it was 11 and a half by 15 room. So, um, you know, if I, first off, if you tell me to hand sand something, I'm assuming, you know, this whole thing would probably have to be sanded. So that's labor intensive. Um, transition, fix this laundry chute, laundry tub, whatever. Um, in here, once this floor pulled up, once that sliding door fixed, um, I've looked at it and it's going to take some extensive repair. I really think a lot of that old laminate right there is messing it up. Um, messing register. So once it's pulled up, apparently it's stinking here and I've got cold or something. I can't smell nothing, but he said um, treat with bleach and paint with kills and then they're going to carpet it. So take that for its worth. Fireplace, he wanted this uh, glass uh, front repaired there again it's missing a pane of glass it's easier it's you know rusted it's doesn't want to close good it's just easier to replace that so uh, my bed will replace that instead of fix it sometimes you got to know what's quicker and easier once the soot cleaned and once all the blinds replaced now here wasn't real clear. First, one says replace countertop and sink. One says uh, repair the uh, countertop and replace the sink. Uh, same way, wants to know if the oven, all that works. The range hood does not work. Uh, one burner doesn't. And it may be just reasonable just to replace that. Same way dishwasher. I didn't try a dishwasher because I did look underneath there and there's not a garbage disposal and the drain for the dishwasher is just laying there. So obviously they haven't used that in quite a while. Okay. Once the return air is clean. Now that one could be clean and repainted so I'll do that. Um, same way with the countertops in here. It said replace them. Once the tub once, obviously once it's cleaned and the tub um, reglazed, which someone's done tried it, and that's usually what happens just about every reglaze job I've seen. So that get right there. But if that's, and I'll tell them that that's usually how it ends up anyway. Uh, probably we'll change out those fixtures. Put a shower head in up there. This, this is all cleaned up. This, we will, fix that ceiling um this down here if you see can you see that 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 sheetrock that's been repaired before i'll just cut that out put new sheetrock and redo that same way here if he's going to sell this is a new house you don't want crap like that you don't want crap like this so we'll fix all that we'll get a cover plate for that whatever that was probably for that that was probably an exhaust fan those big round ones and those things are pretty pricey. They're about a hundred bucks if you can find them. Uh, I found some at Lock. That's about the only place local I've been able to find big round heaters. Um, 
once the light, light fix is replaced, once the door repaired, and I'm going to have to guess he wants those doors to repaint a different color. As you can see, this is pretty nasty. Bifolds repaired, replaced. Um, same thing, you talk about reglazing in here. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't see no broke tile. So we'll just probably get this and add, add the um, shower doors and fix that stuff like that. Place that light fixture. Uh, this is a really nasty room. Bifold doors here, they're gone. <laughs> there again, doors. Place all the door stops. And, and um, that, those drapes are gone. Let me see if I can get some light in here. Just a little tiny rooms. These are about $300 rooms to paint, two coats with a trim. Hallway. And there's some stuff on the outside, not real huge things. Um, once these tiles busted, just these re replaced, the ones that are chipped or cracked, which in itself, there's, there's three or four of them. Probably be good, put a transition off. I'll recommend, he didn't say it, but put a transition here. Make it look good. And I think that's, I mean, there's, as you can see, there's, There's a little of that and that, so, but this is the highlights of this stuff. A lot of cleaning, a lot of, um, I don't know what that is. Once this fan put in the master, once the light from the master, I think put in this bedroom over here. Yeah, some switcheroo stuff there, so. And um, on the outside, there's some painting some rot repair. So that's pretty much, you know, on the inside, I mean, it's, this guy is very detailed, gave me a very detailed list, I love that. See the countertops screwed up, so it's been wet there and it's, you hear that refrigerator making that sound? That's working. That's the freezer side working. Oh, working. That condenser is probably all messed up. Once that fixed, I think all it is, is, I don't know if you can see that, it's the grate all messed up. So we'll do that. Mostly painting and, and just patching just a little bit of stuff there. So I'll, um, Take you on the outside now, show you what we got on the outside. Okay, here on the outside, he wants um, this siding here pressure washed and repainted. The door, uh, storm door repainted, screen repaired, AC in the window removed. And he wants these trimmed. I would take them out myself, block them view of the house. Got some wood rot up here. I don't know if anybody else has noticed. And that's the thing about these sometimes if they send me out here. I try to find a few other little things that they may have missed. And on this one I have. And that's going to show them that um, detailed. Um, I believe we're going to pressure wash front porch. I will. If I'm pressure washing it anyway. The gutter's fixed. You see it hanging down there. It's pretty little old house on a corner lot. So yeah, pretty little old house. So anyway, got some stuff back here. I think I told you about the sliding door, right? Yeah, it's a piece of junk. There again, maybe one of those things easier just to replace it than 
try to patch it together once this trellis painted I don't know what y'all would charge for that me I'm about 150 bucks have my guy do it um these gutters need to be readjusted once all this cleaned off um power washed we got some rotting right right up there put a new light in there oops add a gutter there and there wasn't a downspout and if you look here again this is one of those things that pays off if you know what you're doing you got this gutter running all the way over here oh this is a low spot all the way back over here so where's it overflow of course it's going to overflow right here so I, we'll uh we'll raise that up put a downspout down here and that, that way the, the center will be sloped off to each side with a uh, there's a little closet door in the garage that goes to the furnace and water heater need to make a new plywood door for that messing the doorknob here so once it added um, all this cleaned up painted he didn't say that in, in his list but it will happen so you know guys that's this is pretty quick there's a lot of stuff to it but it's a lot of little stuff and if you price it right that little stuff will add up now funny thing here while i was here he had somebody else stop by and uh, bid i assume that's what they were doing which is fine i don't care another little thing I, I will have on my report or my estimate is to put this weather stripping around the door see it's missing nothing was said about that on his list of things he probably didn't know to have it he seems like a very detailed oriented uh, investor wants his properties look nice and that's the kind of people i like to work for so we can walk out here and give you a bigger look at it oh yeah we got to pull the vines and the stumps off off the fence right here right there clean this yard up there's one of the, the gutter that goes up here but there's no downspout so i'll add a downspout to that just so it doesn't overflow there where it has been this center would come up and it would drain down to here and then drain down to there and so that's pretty much it on this little house i hope y'all enjoy these um some people i guess find them boring but the last one i did y'all seem to enjoy so if you enjoy it let me know down below now don't run off we're only halfway through the video now i'm fixing to show you how i work up an estimate i'm going to show you my little yellow sheet i take notes on on site and then i'm going to take you home where i'm sitting on my computer writing up the estimate so stay tuned it's on its way okay guys uh here's my my estimate um this is just most of the interior i didn't do it all just, just enough so you'll get an idea of what i'm doing uh this is a office uh open office writer template i found on the internet someplace uh, i don't have it available it's you know i've customized it for me i like open office because it is free and there are a ton of templates for just about anything you want okay i don't use market or um Joyce, I've tried both of those. This wasn't for me. Um, so use whatever you like. Uh, if you see in the video, I do have my yellow pad. Uh, this investor sent me a list of things he wanted done. And I was going to just print them out. And then I realized I was out of toning. So I just copied them to my yellow pad. I go to the home. I go through the home, uh, making notes, uh, and <clears throat> excuse me and uh jotting down my estimates as i go through i'm seeing oh uh, i can do that in two hours um you know me and my helper whatever my helper can do it two hours whatever we can get it done and i start making notes so i come back in this case i just started taking his uh request like fixed sliding door and replace handle well he, he just had fixed sliding glass door he thought he was getting open but the handle was messing too so and at the worst case and i always go by the worst case i'll have to put rollers on it uh on the bottom um pull that door out put rollers on the bottom 
Best case, I can just adjust those rollers. Uh, so if I pull them out, that's a little less than an hour job and to get it back in, rolling and all that, and putting a new handle on. That's 175 bucks. So I just came down here and I cut and pasted out of his email and second line, remove old blinds, replace new mini blinds throughout the home, and he wants a uh, sliding glass uh, blind or one of those great looking things. Um, that this is for, uh, you need to be specific. This is labor only. That's 295 to do that. I think there were 13 blinds in the house, including the, not including the patio. Uh, and then he wants all the lights and return air filter. Well, there's only one return air filter. And I forgot how many lights there were. So I made note on it on my little pad. And that comes to $110 each. And here's another thing I do. I never just use $100 or $120. Um, I think your, your estimate looks more natural if you've got odd numbers that you need to know it. Yeah, or, or you know, you're not like $300 this or $500 that. Uh, make it come out to something a little bit, uh, off. You know, not, not even. So then, uh, I forgot how many light switches and outlets needed to play. It's not me. But I, I in, in, instead of, you know, Trying to give him a number, I said, look, they're 45 bucks each. And that includes the outlet face plates because I've got quite a few of them. I've got some at an auction here a while back. Oh, box of them. So I've got plenty of those. And I'll just put them in there. Uh, this here is just, you know, kind of, you can see it. It's all flesh mount, glowing in here. He wants a bunch of stuff changed around. Lights and see what fans. So that's my laser right right there. Uh, I, you know, I figured it'd take me to help her an hour, an hour and a half, something like that to do that. Um, maybe a little longer, you know. But always figure for the worst. I know a lot of y'all, y'all, tri you're trying to get the job. You want to get the estimate, and so you're just giving a dark, cheap price. And then when something happens, and it takes you a lot longer or, or more, then, then you're in a pickle. Always bid high. You can always come down and make yourself look good. But it's hard to go up and make yourself look good. So, uh, I have missing door stops. I've got a, several bags of those from previous jobs. Anyway, I think there was, I don't know, nine? Nine, nine of them together? No, there was, what that mean? Let's see, three, there was six, seven, eight. Yeah, maybe there was nine. Okay, so basically, you know, like I already have some, so it's about ten dollars later to put, put a door stop on. Um, patch master, master bedroom door, it's just a hollow core, but you, you see in video they paint it red. One of the knots in the uh, it come out, so um, I'll just patch that with some uh, epoxy before I repaint it. Uh, it's all. Uh, now, here's uh, the Bible doors. There were two of them. Uh, this is pretty cheap, but the, the tracks and stuff are already there. And so if I can get, uh, you know, matching uh, doors, something, all I have to do is pop them in. So I, I'm looking at maybe 30 minutes to do two of them. If that, probably 20 minutes. That's, you're just popping doors in. It's not much. Smoke detectors were needed. I estimated there were six smoke alarms needed. That's 175. Clean hardwoods. Uh, this is something that, uh, see, clean all hardwoods, hand stain, ink, and discoloration as stain were needed. Now, I assume he meant the front bin, but I don't know. So I have to ask him, because if he wants us to hand stain all those floors and restain them, that's huge. That's a lot of labor. He's probably going to be looking at two, three thousand dollars or more. If he just wants bad areas, which I think he does, then that's a lot less. But anyway, so uh, fixing cracks in sheetrock and floating areas needed. I only see maybe two or three small hairline cracks, so that's going to be pretty easy. Um, there's a place in the hall bath, you know, fixing that, uh, panning on that. No, there was panning at the bar on the living room side. 
that was damaged, probably some kid kicked it or something. I don't know. I was sitting on the floor. Uh, my bid is to replace all that paneling down through there because it's going to be hard to match the paneling. So I just replace it all. I don't mess with it. I don't, you know, learn. So that's, um, I, I've got some paneling that probably work out here. 365 bucks to do that. Um, and I just go down like that. Every, every thing. And I don't normally do this like this. Usually I just group it all together. But I've noticed this guy, I talked to him for a while on the phone, and he's very detail oriented. And the other contractor who showed up after I did was only there maybe 15 minutes. And I was like there an hour and a half doing this. So a lot of, a detailed person appreciates detail. And so I'll break this down. Plus he wants to pay weekly which is fine. So I'm going to, he will pay as we do this weekly, uh, unless there is some materials to be bought, and there is, but I have some already, so I just include those in the cost. Uh, this fireplace doors, you know, I could fix that, and it's rusty and all that crap. It's just easy to get new ones. And, and I, I found some for like 200 years. Uh, twenty dollars or something like that. I'll get them and just put them in. Paint it. This is a big one. Paint to your home, baseboard, door, chair. Everything needs to be repainted inside. And uh, luckily, some of those rooms are only eight by ten or something like that. Small house, so we can knock that out in probably about three days. And um, painting. While we're waiting for paint to dry, we'll go to another room or we'll work on something else. Where we'll double and triple up on the job. And get and then, then he wants the whole house clean. And I don't do whole house cleaning, but I have a lady who does. And she was around 400 to come in there. She'll be mopping, wipe all the surfaces and all that stuff down. Like, like well, around 450 someplace. So anyway, that's my bed right there because I know I'll probably have to help her. So that's how I make up a bed. You want to have your terms and conditions down here. Uh, this is old for me. Uh, but you know you get that kind of idea and then uh, payment terms um, how do you want pay you need to specify it and don't let this assume that they're going to pay you cash or assume that this is what I, I don't take um, I don't take business checks from investors because there's too many times I've got it in the past and they'll open a checking account for each house and they may not have no money in that account. Or maybe they may close it. Now, now I'm left with chasing my money down. So anyway. Um, so that's it, guys. That's basically it. I'll save it in PDF. I'll email it to them. Now, this is not all of it. Uh, this is just most of it. And look right here. You want tax strips and carpet and linen. We don't do that. But I know a guy. Okay? I know a guy. Margaret on concerts. I know a guy. And so... Uh, if he wants me to get an uh, estimate from him, I'll do it just like I did the cleaning lady. I'll uh, do an estimate, add a little bit onto it for my time and trouble, and we'll go with that. So anyway, that's how I write up the estimate. It's really quick. Uh, this has been my system for, for a long time. Works for me. May not work for you. Maybe you do need to use something like Joyce or Market or, or whatever. And uh, that's okay. That's okay. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all got something out of this. Appreciate it. If I don't blue collar DIY, please like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends and family. And I'll catch you on the next video.